Shalom, shalom, sisters. Call how y'all about you now. Shy for another prep day. Lord willing, y'all are having a beautiful prep day in the spirit. Lord willing, y'all are fighting against the wiles of the devil. Satan and his crafty counsel. And enduring all things. In the name of Yahweh, Bashem, Shai. It was on my spirit just to meditate upon faith. And just how... Yeah, we talk about it a lot, but it's really deep. It's really, really deep. And it it hits different whenever you're in a situation where it requires faith. You know, whether it be financial, spiritual spiritual whatever you know and I was just meditating on how children you know they just they pretty much believe anything you tell them if a parent tell their child oh you know I don't know but I'm trying to think of a good example like some madness maybe if, uh, um, no matter of fact I'm going to do a better example because the parent will be off so y'all know those movies it'd be a little kid and they got an older sibling maybe like a teenage sibling and they tell their little sibling oh yeah there's there's monsters under your bed stuff like that and the little kid believes it so that long story short what made me think of when I thought of that it made me think of um just having childlike faith how we have to have childlike faith how we gotta really really believe these words that were given to us like we gotta believe wholeheartedly that the most high is not gonna forsake the righteous we gotta for you know we we can't forget we can't forget precepts in the time where we're going through it we gotta find a way to get to the point where we can be calm in the spirit calm when affliction's happening calm when satan's really just poking 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 at us we gotta be able to just take a second breathe and just find that calm and you how about you meow shy the Lord said, my peace I give unto you. Let me get that. And I'm driving right now, y'all, so don't mind me. I'm going to just be looking up the precepts that come to mind through the Spirit. that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. So the most I has an expected end. When you go through certain situations and it seems like, dang, like I have no idea how this is going to turn out for me. We got to think about this. The most I has an expected end for us. If we're doing everything we can to be sincere, diligent, on fire for the Lord, you know, we're really trying. We're not just saying, you know, whatever. I do what I want to do. I'm not even trying then you feel me like we gotta really believe that the most high is gonna come through for us and that all things work together for our good we gotta keep that in mind all things work together for our good even the bad stuff like a lot of the times we might read this and be like oh yeah all things work together for our good but you really got to sit and meditate on that. Like, all things work together for our good. Even the bad stuff that we think is bad. Because the Lord's thoughts are not our thoughts. His ways are in our ways. And I'm going to get that. This is Romans 8 and 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. To them who are the called according to his purpose. And we know, you know, hereby we know that we love the most. We know the most high. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. All right. Looks like hell. 
All right. First John 2 and 5. But whoso keepeth his word in him, verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. So us being in the spirit of the most high, Yahweh Shemir Shai, by keeping his commandments, by doing what he says, that's pleasing to his sight. This is how we dwell with the most high. So we're dwelling with the most high, the almighty power, who's above all things. Why wouldn't he deliver us out of certain situations? Why would he put us in certain situations? He's he's a just God. He's not going to forsake the righteous. He said that. get that in songs oh I definitely spelled that wrong all right Psalms 37 25 I have been young and now I'm old yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread it's plain it's plain the Lord has never forsaken us and he won't he won't Unless we're being wicked. So we just got to remember just to keep our end of the bargain. And the Most High is going to fight for us. Hold your peace. I spelled that wrong. But I got to get, get the classic. Exodus 14 and 14. The Lord shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace. So when it says... To hold your peace. Literally, hold your peace. Know who's fighting for you. Know that through every situation, the most high got us. Because that's Abba. That's the Father. Like, he got us. Like, he's going to look out for his kids. Because he's a righteous man. And we know that the, man, the Lord, he's not a man that he shall lie. He's not. He's not. He's not going to lie. So if he says, keep my commandments, and you'll get the blessings. Hey, that's what he said. That's what he said. And it's lucky again, y'all. I'm not as fast as I usually can possibly be. I am driving. God is not sorry. It's so lucky. Numbers 23 and 19. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken and shall he not make it good? So, Moses is not a man that he should lie. He said, you know, hold your peace. Keep my commandments. Fear him and be obedient that's all he asked that's all he asked and he'll handle the rest he'll handle the rest for us and going back to the analogy i brought out earlier just having that childlike faith like all hell could be breaking loose around you you know maybe you know you got the car done broke down and you got to do this by a certain time meet a certain deadline you got bills that's late they talk about repossessing or you know eviction whatever it is whatever it is we gotta hold our peace and try to find that calm within the storm that's a superpower y'all faith is a superpower and i gotta get the the classic hebrews 11 and 1 got to got to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen point again so we know that faith is confidence if you look up the word faith it, it really just means confidence confidence that the most high how about shimmy out shy is gonna come through he's gonna come through in that tight situation that tight spot he's gonna deliver you even if it's at the very last minute but you gotta have that faith 
you gotta have that faith you gotta go through these things so that when ugly times come you're not even phased bro you're not even phased you're just chilling because you know the most high is gonna come through and that's the whole purpose that's the whole purpose of this walk so that we, we go through things now so that when you know all hell done broke loose we're in jacob's trouble and you know the kingdom is closer than ever that's when we tap into that um that faith that's when we tap into that faith y'all so i'm gonna pull a few more and um Lord willing, this is edifying for y'all. This is just, again, just something real quick, just going into the Sabbath day, just meditating on faith and just finding that calm and being patient with yourself because, you know, especially if you're new in the truth and you're just now starting to build that relationship with the Most High, it can be, you know, shaky at first. You're going to fall. You're going to lack faith. You're going to lack faith. We're in this flesh. But this is just some encouragement that you know it's not gonna be forever eventually lord willing we're gonna we're gonna catch on we're gonna get a grip of things like okay the most i put me through this this and this i'd have been through hell and back but guess what i'm still in this thing i'm still striving for perfection i still you know have multiple multiple blessings without without number it's just the most high is so merciful but we got to get to that point through trials and tribulations i'm gonna get that real quick now that i stopped i can get some precepts acts fourteen twenty two, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith that and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of god come huh. so this is how the most high is confirming our souls he's confirming our souls we go through things to build up our faith and also to see like you know how bad do we want it how bad do we want to stop being oppressed stop being in the land of our captivity how bad do we want to stop having to pay freaking bills having to be in this flesh fighting demons crying you know all this all this stuff how bad do we want it how bad do we want it um i meant to get this earlier swakia just going into how the most high thoughts they're not our thoughts you know i'm gonna start at six because it's it's it's, it's mighty so mighty isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6 seek ye the lord while he may be found call ye upon him while he is near so we need to seek the most high right now while he's near before all hell breaks loose if y'all haven't seen the movie leave the world behind i know everybody and their daddy talking about it but really seriously try to watch that with a spiritual eye you know esau they're not stupid they they know exactly what's going on the obama's produced it directed it whatever and they would know better than anybody how to crumble america being a form being former leaders of america they would know so we got to pay attention we got to watch the signs you know it's a whole bunch of good stuff in that movie i'm not gonna spoil it watch it for yourself and look into the stuff because the stuff that they bring out in there not to go on a tangent, but the stuff that they bring out in there is happening literally as we speak. As we speak. So we're going to need faith. We're going to need faith. We're going to need to know that, hey, the most high got me right now. Even though all hell's breaking loose, body's dropping, you know, I ain't eating three days, whatever the case is. You got to have faith. You got to hold out. We got to be long suffering and seek the most high right now while he's near. Find time to put, you know all the bs away for lack of better terms and find that time with the most high and grow and build that relationship and be diligent within your tribulations to have faith to be calm to have your spirit and your flesh in subjection to you how about shimmy i was shy 
and I'm going to keep reading verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. So we got to stop overthinking. We got to stop overthinking. Every time we get into something, it's, oh, man, what am I going to do? Well, you're fretting and you, you're looking side to side and you're stressing, you huffing, puffing. You know, granted, we are in the flesh again, like I said, but eventually we got to just be calm, like real nonchalant, like, like, I don't care. I don't care what's going on, going on around me to an extent because I know the most I got it. The most I got it is I'm not going to change nothing by me stressing, you know, sweating, doing the most, being in my emotions. That's not going to help anything. It's just going to make us heavy in the spirit. And make things 10 times worse than it already is. So, I'm going to keep reading. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. The Most High wants to pardon us from our sins. So, us coming into this truth, forsaking these wicked things we used to do in the world, forsaking these wicked spirits, not serving Satan, the Most High is willing to forgive. He's willing to forgive. And let me, let me get that real quick, and I'm going to come back. Psalms 86 and 5. For thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Plain. Verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. And um, the rest of the chapter is mighty too, but that's all I wanted to get. Lord willing, this supped with y'all spirit and know that the Most High has his ways about everything even then even when we have a certain idea how we want things to go things don't go according to our plan but it's all for our learning it's all for our good the most high is so merciful unto us just keep your head up sisters and try to look at the bright side of things all praise the most high he's dealing with us in these last days because he is not dealing with a lot of our people and it's really just a blessing just to be in this thing to still you know, strive to increase in the fear of the Lord and the faith of the Lord. So I love y'all so much. Y'all be diligent, be on fire and keep enduring, putting your brick in for the Lord. And Lord, when y'all have a blessed Sabbath day and call how you how about you, how shy, brakatha, have a thumb, sisters, and shalom.